because Bert was uh, waking up, we weren't getting much sleep. No. And then there was one night that I got almost no sleep at all because Bert just started throwing up. And uh, he didn't seem particularly affected by it, but every couple of hours he would throw up like a, a little circle of bile. It wasn't even food. Yeah. And that went on for... And this wasn't scary because dogs, dogs throw, throw up. up. But I was a little concerned because it seemed to be happening every hour on the hour. And it wasn't stopping. Yep. His mood wasn't affected. And he was drinking water. That was helpful, but I was still worried. We were worried. It's the first time we've ever dealt with this. But because it just kept happening... Um, we were a little worried that he might have eaten something he shouldn't, or and who, we had who knows? right. No, I don't think it was, was a food thing because he we had integrated his food slowly from the stuff he, the Humane Society was feeding him to something a little bit better, and it had been a you know what three two or three weeks. So yeah. I, it wasn't a food thing. Bert likes to eat stuff he finds outside. He has a talent for finding. Human food Human. out in the grass Garbage. And, and dead creatures dead birds. he found, and I think it was I think it was half a dead frog or something. <laughs> I mean, it was unrecognizable, but I suspect that's what made him sick because it was just foul. He didn't eat it, but he had it in his mouth. I pulled it out of his mouth. I'm getting really good at pulling stuff out of Bert's mouth. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we've gotten good at noticing when he's about to try and eat something. <laughs> yeah. He gets a very particular way about him where he'll just march towards something. And if it's obviously, like, we can tell that there's something he wants to try and put in his mouth and we just won't let him near it. Um, so we, we've gotten a lot better about that. Uh, I ended up calling the vet to see what what I should do about Bert. Do they need to bring him in? Was this serious? The vet was super nice, and she said... Um, well, you read... I had read, don't feed him, and don't give him water. You can give him an ice cube or something, but they need, a, they need 12 hours to let their stomach settle. And then if it continues after that, you might want to think about contacting a vet. And that's exactly what the vet said. And she said, after that, because it had been early in the morning, by the time I would get home from work, it would be about... 12 or even 14 hours. Mm -hmm. So I told her that and I said, should should I not give him dinner then? And she said, well, if you do, give him a very little bit of water and a very, you could cook him some rice. And so that's what I did. Right. We came home and he had probably thrown up twice over the course of the day. Yeah. But, you know, that the difference there was between throwing up every hour and now he was throwing up every two or three hours. Right. So so his stomach seemed to be settling. And again, his mood wasn't affected his at all. Was he was still a happy boy. And So we fed him some rice, gave him an ice cube. Um, he, that night... He threw up just a little bit of the rice, but not all of it. And then... That, so night, that, was that night he threw up one more time and then that was done. And he now was, he's he was better. Fine. Yeah. We, gave, we gave him rice the next morning and then that evening because he seemed perfectly fine. We gave him his regular food and it hasn't been an issue since then. So, and I think he's been, I actually think he's been a lot more careful about what he eats outside. Yeah, he'll go over and sniff stuff, but he, he sort of jolts himself out of yeah. eating it. He'll, sometimes he'll carry things. <laughs> but <laughs> he doesn't seem to be actually in, ingesting as much yeah. anymore. One of the things I read is that puppies will throw up a lot because they haven't learned what not to eat. And one of the things that we've discovered is that Bert never really had a period mm -hmm. where he grew out of being a puppy because his previous owners, as far as we can tell, didn't teach never him anything. Did it, and probably never even took him out. Mm -hmm. Like when we first started walking with him, he was he's very good on the leash, but he was very, very nervous. We attribute his good qualities to the Humane Society. He was he went through something called the Molly program where he works with a trainer to learn basic commands and how to walk on a leash and how to be a confident, happy dog. Mm -hmm. And it's very clear um, I I think this program's great because I don't think his previous owner, 
did anything. Did anything with them. We think they probably just had him in the house with a pile of food and probably let him out at random points. And I think they sat on the couch and fed him fed him human food. Mm -hmm. 